Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Kita masih lagi dalam konsep work done by a constant force Yang mana kita akan belajar bagaimana untuk apply equation W is equals to F as cos theta So di dalam example ini kita akan apply satu equation ini pada kes uh, kotak yang berada uh, yang bergerak di atas inclined plane. Uh, sebelum ini kotak kita bergerak pada horizontal uh, plane, horizontal surface. Tapi dalam kali ini surface kita ada inclined dan uh, bagaimana untuk kita selesaikan masalah berkaitan dengan work done. So uh, info yang diberi adalah a box of mass 20 kg move up a rough inclined plane which is inclined to the horizontal at 25 degree. Now the angle 25 degree is the angle between the surface and the horizontal. The inclined and the horizontal. It is pulled by a horizontal force F of magnitude uh, 215 newton. So that is one force, external force. The coefficient of kinetic friction Coefficient of kinetic friction is not a frictional force, but it is a coefficient. So, it is mu. Uh, coefficient of kinetic friction tidak ada unit. Okay, so jangan keliru dengan kinetic friction. Itu bukan Fs, tetapi mu. If the box travel, okay, another info, 3.8 meter along the plane. Okay, so determine the work done on the box by the force F. So, let's write down the known value properly. The mass of the box is 20 kg with uh, the angle theta is 25 degree. Now this is not the angle theta that we are going to uh, substitute into the equation. That is not the angle theta. Okay, the, that angle theta in this equation depends on the situation, depends on the forces and the, the, the displacement. Okay, so but the angle theta here is the angle between the incline and the horizontal and then the force, external force is 250 Newton and mu is equals to 0 0.3 and displacement S is equals to 3.8 So disebabkan uh, kes ini melebatkan incline dan kita sebenarnya nak belajar, nak kaji bagaimana kita nak tentukan angle theta dalam setiap kes soalan A, B, C dan D maka saya lukiskan sekali lagi gambar ini berulang-ulang kali Ha, untuk membantu para pelajar sekalian memahami situasi pada setiap soalan Soalan yang pertama Berbunyi the work done on the box by the force F Force F is horizontal Okay, so dia mendata Manakala the object move up the incline The angle between F and S is equals to the angle of the incline which is equals to 25 degree. So the work done by the external force is equals to the external force time displacement cos theta. In this case, we have 250 times 3.8 times cos 25 degree. And the answer for that is equals to 861 Joule. Now, positive value, okay, this is work done by environment. On the system. So, in other words, that 861 energy uh, 861 Joule of energy is transferred to the system in order for the system to move up the inclined plane. Okay, so force F membantu objek ini untuk naik ke atas dengan bagi energi sebanyak 861. Now, for the second question, we need to find the work done by gravitational force. Now, by saying gravitational force, it means that uh, we need to find the work done by the weight. Okay, so gravitational force is the weight. So weight is uh, 
tegak ke bawah vertically downwards okay and displacement s is along the inclined plane now if i draw a y axis perpendicular to the plane an angle of the incline is theta we already know from the previous chapter that this angle theta is equals to the angle between the weight and the y component so this is the angle theta yang akan kita gunakan now the angle between displacement ah uh, kita boleh tengok daripada diagram ini the angle between displacement and y okay is 90 degree therefore the angle between weight and displacement is equals to 90 degree plus theta and that theta is equals to 25 degree so it is 115 degree so work done by gravity is equals to the weight times displacement cos theta weight is m times g times s cos theta so that is weight and we can substitute the value mass is 20 kilogram times 9.81 times 3.8 cos 115 degree and the answer for b is negative 315 joule now this is negative which means that the work is done by the system to the environment or I can say that energy transferred from the system to the environment so in other words weight will cause the box to slow down berat box ini tidak akan membantu box ini naik ke atas tetapi diambil tenaga uh, box ini memperlahankan box ini menyusahkan box ini untuk naik ke atas so basically energy of the box is transferred out of the box to the system by weight sebanyak 315 joule so that's why it is negative okay so the next one is the work done by the reaction force now reaction force is actually normal force Now, normal force is perpendicular to the surface and displacement is along the surface. So, obviously, the angle between normal force and displacement is 90 degrees. So, the work done by normal force is normal force times displacement times cos 90 degree. So, cos 90 degree is 0 joule. So, there is no work done by the normal force. And we move to D. Question D is the work done by frictional force. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the, 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 the object the object is moving uh, the object is moving upward so the frictional force will oppose this motion so frictional force is downward to determine the angle theta is easy because from the diagram visually we can see that the angle theta between frictional force and s is uh, 180 degree therefore we can calculate work done by frictional force is equals to f k times s times cos 180 degree cos theta 
However, the value for frictional force is unknown. But, we have the value of coefficient of kinetic friction. So, frictional force F is equals to mu times N. So, that is the frictional force. Okay. Times displacement times cos times theta. Now, we still have a problem because normal force is unknown. So, we need to uh, find normal force. Now, in order to find normal force, we need to consider uh, the forces on Y axis. So, basically, in this object, we have normal force, weight downward, and then I have, this is the tricky part, the external force uh, is horizontal, and then I also have friction, friction force. Now, if I draw Y axis perpendicular to the plane, I can actually resolve W into WY. And I can also resolve the external force into Fy. Therefore, we can apply Newton second Newton first law to find the normal force sum of Fy is equals to zero and minus Wy minus Fy is equals to zero. Therefore, the normal force is simply Wy plus Fy. Now, macam mana nak cari Wy? The angle theta, the angle of the incline is given. So, we can conclude that the angle between W and Y is theta. So, WY is simply W cos theta because W is adjacent to angle theta yang berwarna merah. Okay. So, N is equal to WY is W cos Theta, okay, plus, now, Fy, macam mana kita nak relate Fy dengan angle theta? Now, look at this. Sebenarnya, angle theta sama dengan angle antara F dengan inclined plane. So, this is the angle theta. Let's draw it with color biru, biru cair, okay. So, kita boleh gantikan, kita tengok bahawa, Fy is opposite to angle theta, the blue one, not the red one. So, Fy is opposite to angle theta. Okay, so, ini sebenarnya segitiga yang kita nak pakai. Okay, so basically Fy is F opposite is sine opposite with angle theta. Okay, so... That's how we find N and W is obviously mg 20 times 9.81 cos 25 plus F is 250 sine 25 and we'll have normal force is equal to 283.47 Newton. Then we can substitute into our equation of work done by friction is equals to mu k is 0 0.3 times n 283.47 times displacement 3.8 times cos and the angle between friction and s is 180 degree. Okay. Tekan calculator. And we'll get the answer for work done by frictional force is negative 323.16 Joule. So the friction is actually taking the energy of the box. It's slowing the box down. The friction is not helping the box to climb uh, up the incline. Instead, it will slow down. So bila slow down, it's actually taking the energy. So energy is transferred from the box to the environment in the form of heat uh, because of friction so that's 
4 part uh, question D and last question is the work done the total work done okay so the total work done is simply the work done by external force the basket work done total ataupun work done net is work done by external force plus work done by gravity plus work done by normal force plus work done by friction so it's basically the sum of all the work done by all the forces uh, on this object so work done by external force we calculate it from a from question a is 861 plus the work done by gravity is three hundred negative three hundred and fifteen plus the work done by normal force is zero plus the work done by frictional force is negative three hundred and twenty three point one six joule. The answer for D is two hundred twenty two point eight four joule. So itu sahaja dalam video kali ini saya harap. Uh, yang, su yang penting di sini adalah kita identify angle theta uh, Yang ini angle di antara force dan displacement Dan saya rasa selain daripada konsep fiziknya mungkin mudah Yang ini Fs cos theta Cuma kita perlu memahami geometri Untuk menentukan angle pada setiap soalan Pada setiap case So thank you for watching uh, Pada video akan datang akan lebih mudah sikit dan pendek sikit So itu saja terima kasih